have you seen game of thrones no but i know you have yeah and i like one of my favorite parts about game of thrones is like the set design and like the locations and everything oh. and sometimes I, i watch certain shows and i'm like this is game of thrones <laughs> Hi, we are Nuna Talk. I'm Zara, and I'm Sofia. And today we're back with a brand new episode of K Drama or K Flop. If you are new to the channel, what this basically means is we watch the first episode of a very popular K drama to decide whether it's worth watching, a K drama, or not so much a K flop. But before we get into today's episode, we are Nuna Talk, a podcast where we talk about K-pop, K-drama, K-culture, sometimes even a C-drama, sometimes even um, random vlogs. Things happen. You can watch us here on YouTube every two weeks where we have brand new episodes, or you can listen to us across all podcasting platforms like Spotify, Amazon, Apple Podcast, and if you do, give us five stars there. Um, You can also follow us on Instagram at Nuna Talk, exactly like it sounds for fun intermediate content, giveaways. So much is going on. Okay, this week, what are we watching? Strong girl Nam Soon, and as the name suggests, it's about a strong girl Nam Soon. <laughs> yeah, so this is basically a spinoff of Strong Girl Bong Soon, and if you have followed us on Instagram, you can go back and check. I I loved Bong Soon. Like I loved everything about it. It was such a good watch. So yeah, I was excited when Nam Soon was announced. Yeah. On the other hand, I did not really care for the first part of the or the original series. So I was not excited, but I was curious. Like, okay, where are they going to take the story? Who knows? This the Netflix summary talks about a young woman who returns to Korea to find her birth family. and she is gifted with superhuman strength strong girl only to be entangled in a criminal case that could test her power sounds like a very typical k drama like there has i i'm i'm assuming there's going to be romance but there's also going to be the major crime plot which is very important yeah. to the core of a k drama okay so let's go watch it and then we'll be back to get into it yeah 어디 가? 얘기 좀 하자면서. So let's try to break it down. Uh before we get into like our pros and cons. Mm-hmm. Basically we're introduced to Nam Soon who is called by a different name at this point of the show because she she's got lost. Mongolia. Yeah, she's in Mongolia. She got uh, uh Kid. What is bichrawa? I don't know what bichrawa. She bichrows from her father. <laughs> estranged, but estranged is after like property separated. fights. But yeah, so she gets separated from her father during a trip to Mongolia, and basically, this the entire first episode lays down the premise of the parents in Korea trying to find their daughter, and the daughter in Mongolia trying to prepare to go back. Hmm. Um. which was interesting i i feel like there were some things that there were a lot of there were a lot of questions that were raised for me in the f- uh, first episode so um and there were there were a lot of establishing things where it was shown that the father was very passionate he was very interested in ph- uh, photography the mother was from a became didn't come from money but became the founder of a, a massive like rich conglomerate because what is a k drama if it doesn't have rich family chebols like yeah of course if you, watch, if you just watch k drama you think like 70% of korea's population was chebol but uh, apparently it's not <laughs> crazy crazy how it's not indicative of the actual population <laughs> um okay so wait do you have anything else to add to um, the episode? you know i don't because unfortunately <laughs> i could not yeah. see the entire episode but but good to know that we have established like parental characteristics <laughs> okay i'm so curious at what point you gave up watching the episode mm-hmm. um but that will give spoilers so like let's be aware of that um do you want to get into pros and cons 
Sure. Okay. Pros. <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel like that would be a shorter list for you? It would be a shorter list. I think, um, again, okay, this I'll deal with it in the cons, like why I didn't, like why I couldn't sit through the entire episode. But I think pro is that this is, a, I think fantasy core is a very, uh, is something that K-dramas do a lot, but they also do a lot, a lot of it well. Like the lore is very unique to itself. Like there's a clan of very strong people. Sure, like, Hulk exists but you know it's just <laughs> it's just very interesting a lot of it traces back to the olden eras and all of those so I think the lore behind the actual story is definitely a what about no that? I agree I think there was something um that so in the episode as well which I mean I, I I've only seen Bong Soon once through so obviously I didn't have all my memories of it but there's this one part where they're like oh why can't they just DNA test this girl and they're like oh no it's because of their chromosomal issues that the DNA test just wouldn't work and it's good that the lore keeps through like they don't like of course that's just nonsense it's not real science but like it's just good that they do commit to it hardcore which I do appreciate yeah another pro that I really liked and I feel like this is something you definitely said it was beautiful like like Mongolia is stunning it's a extremely picturesque location and I think I don't understand it in terms of story but visually it was great and yeah, I agree with it because a lot of like K dramas are usually limited to Korea or maybe we go to Europe, Europe or US. But Mongolia is like a newer part of the world. To I was Europe or US because a lot of it isn't even Europe or US. They just go to those like sets. Oh, <laughs> Ramachi <laughs> films, <think>. basically. <laughs> they have like some classic, like European town in Korea. It's like a film city kind of a thing. Makes but, sense. Yeah, Mama Moo did a show there. It was fun. It'd be expensive to go anywhere, no? Exactly. And taking a whole crew. And you just need like the idea of it to get True. the story. So yeah, Mongolia was really pretty. And I think even the depiction was, it was very Game of Thrones, like the entire war, the fighting and everything, the initial scene. But I think it was, it was very well shot. I liked it. Hmm. Hmm. And like, this makes me sound like a very old person, but there's a big complaint about like recent shows being filmed in darkness and because Mm -hmm. it was shot in Mongolia, there was always sunlight and that was great. Like bright things going on. I really enjoyed that. I think um... another thing, and this is, I think, a complaint that I have with most K-dramas, which I didn't have with this show, is that the pacing was not slow. Like, I didn't feel like I was dying, falling asleep, waiting for the plot to, like, get ahead. So, definitely well-paced, which is such a rarity. Like, some of my favorite K-dramas are so freaking slow. So, that that was nice. Should we get into the real tea, the cons? Okay, Okay, no, first, tell me about this entire you not being able to finish watching the episode it was unbearable like yes i don't agree with the acting choices because they were awful or oh, oh, it was just i just couldn't that's what i said but i don't hate i did not hate the plot i did not dislike it was it would have kept me going but just something about the way the acting the the comedy the forced comedy of it all was so unbearable maybe if I was in like a different state of mind I could have sat through with it but even getting through halfway through this episode I had to push myself I had to I had to take breaks I had to like pomodoro it like you know 10 minutes I'll watch like a fun YouTube video come back to this and watch it and that's not how you're supposed to enjoy a show I think even some of the worst shows that we have reviewed I have been able to sit through sit through it but somehow with this show, it, it was hard. And I, I don't know what exactly was it. A lot of it was just the acting. But I couldn't I couldn't do it. Or maybe the dialogue. Yeah. I don't know. The yeah, I, that's what I mean. So for me, it was things like this. But it was like the dialogues were so odd. Mm. And just like, okay. not like how human. It, it felt AI generated and bad. Like free AI.com. <laughs> uh, so which is why I don't know if 
like i can't attribute it to bad acting it felt like the surroundings of it were bad were like were, were they told to behave like this and given yeah. bad dialogue and the setup was so bad it that felt like very artificially right like forced like one of those bad nukkar natak like that is the vibe i kept getting those unbearable especially ones. the mother's role i just mm-hmm. i didn't understand it um her acting felt very very strange and the thing is i've seen her in other things before and she's mm-hmm. not a bad actor so this yeah. was very Odd. is it is is it just a matter of like this is how comedy trope in korea is and this is just not funny to us could um, be yeah like i mean i don't think they're watching golmal and enjoying it either so who knows Yeah, but I, again, I think like slapstick comedy is like a staple in a lot of shows, but it it always has something. There's like maybe a character that's slapstick, but I think writing mm. is usually something that is good. And but yeah, this was not. Good. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it was the writing or the direction or just the um maybe some of it was too abrupt, like the switches. So the thing with Strong Girl, even Bong Soon did have a lot of slapstick in it, and it was like. because it was adapted from a webtoon but i think it it because it was adapted from a webtoon a lot of scenes a lot of the humor and everything were already laid in and had been appreciated by people before so it was they knew at at some level it was good whereas nam soon i don't think has been tested by public before and that's why it's just like mm. and like story wise also there was a lot of like question i had so many questions first of all Why were you in Mongolia? Second of all, <laughs> how did you get separated? I, I feel like the no, the bicharna thing, and then the scene that they showed was like some sandstorm thing going on, which is fine <laughs> because you know Mongolia is just all desert, no like. City. Of course, the sandstorm part was okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, हो सकता है. What do I know? I have not been to Mongolia yet, but. ऐसा मतलब बिछड़ गए इतना बिछड़ गए कि शेयर टू गो ऑफ एंड गेट अडॉप्टेड बाय सम अदर फैमिली द अदर फैमिली इज कॉल्ड हर अ डिफरेंट नेम आल्सो एंड शी हैज नो मेमोरी आल्सो आई मीन यू नो हाउ किड्स आर बट इट्स नॉट लाइक शी वाज बेहोश फॉर दो साल एंड देन वोक अप एंड शी वाज लाइक अब मैं भूल गई लाइक इट वाज यस्टरडे यू यस्टरडे लॉस्ट योर फादर हाउ हैव यू ऑलरेडी फॉरगॉटन हिम ट्रॉमा कैन मेस विद यू इन वेज वी डोंट एंड स्टॉम ट्रॉमा Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I okay, and this is a very sidey like thing, but this just adds to my whole like I feel like nobody really paid attention to the writing, which is when in the first fight scene where they show very young girl Nam Soon being strong in the village yeah. in Mongolia, the person she's competing against is called Bater, and it's such lazy writing because Mongolia's capital is Ulan Bater. Ulan, yeah. No, did you have any favorite characters or fo- favorite moments in the first episode? I thought the relationship between the father Namsoon's father and Namsoon's uncle, so like her yeah. mama, was an interesting one. Um, because I, why were they friends? <laughs> But I think like that. Was, sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, my dad and your dad are friends. I get it. <laughs> But um, no, so I, I mean, it was interesting, but. Uh, I yeah my questions okay where I don't know where the show is going is it just going to be about her coming to korea and like no we read this in office she gets involved in a criminal case okay sorry i yeah. that was so not it yeah. will be a criminal case <laughs> i think yeah because they need something this is just the back story right like the childhood angst is that she got separated <coughs> but they need like something stupid point so maybe it is um good but it didn't look very uh, it didn't feel promising to me mm i will say though when the show was initially airing like i know all the episodes are out now but when the ep- episodes were dropping there is this one like 4 minute scene with hyungshik and bong soon i mean i can't believe i'm calling him hyungshik that's not his like <laughs> that's his name yeah. versus that's her character name but anyway they did like a 4 minute scene it was delightful i went and watched only that scene it was so cute loved it um i wish there was more of them as well like then it would have but i maybe that would have felt more like a sequel versus it being like a spin off mm. but even if not hyungshik 
I will survive. But maybe Bong Soon herself, where she meets Nam Soon and there's more of them together. Like this is how to be a strong girl in Seoul, I guess. So important question: the question of all questions: Is it a K drama or is it a K flop? For me, it's a K flop. But if you like, if you like the first part, I think you should watch it just like to find out what happens. First part doesn't like Bong Soon. Like Bong Soon, yeah. If you like Bong Soon, then you should watch this just to like you know keep the continuity, like world building, all of that stuff. Mm. But for personally, for me, it's a K flop. I would not go back to this at all. I don't. I don't even want to know what happens at the end. Yeah, for me, it's a K flop as well. I did watch Bong Soon, and I really like like it. However. when i saw the trailer for this i was already disappointed the first episode has disappointed me more the thing is you're right if you do like bong soon it's easy to stay connected and watch bong soon but the only problem is what is the story like at no point have i did while watching it i was like oh i'm curious ab kya hone wala hai mm-hmm. it was very blah and i think that could be like the first episode curse where they're just so busy establishing and you know giving you back story ki naya story lines they're not willing to introduce mm. in that case maybe my opinion may change but na nah, um, yeah. it's a flop for me as well what did you think about strong girl nam soon let us know in the comments below did you like it if you did what did you like about it not in like a judgy way i'm just like curious, curious. yeah <laughs> yeah we will be back with a brand new episode in exactly 2 weeks in the meanwhile i was sara And I was Sophia. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.